Oi, mate, if you ain't getting this one, girl, then this one's for you. What's up, guys? Welcome back to EME TV. Um, today, we have another investment that we've actually invested in now. I'm going to show you guys what that is in a second. Um, just a couple of things I want to run through before we get started. One is that one of the cars I actually invested in um, and sold, sold quicker than I was able to do the video in. So we'll be talking through that as well. And the Astra that you guys saw in a previous video, let me know. Oh, by the way, it's sold, but let me know what you guys think it's sold for. I'll be revealing that at the end of the video. But without further ado, let me show you what the new investment is. Let's okay, go. You guys, obviously you join me today on a sunny day in Manchester. I didn't actually, didn't actually reveal that, yeah. So basically I'm actually living in Manchester at the moment. And um, what do you think of these perps? They're decent, aren't they? Summer, summer's day out. But no, so I'll reveal. Let's do the little reveal. New investment. Three, two, one. There we go. So here we have a yet another Astra, as you can see, a bit battered. You see both the wing mirrors, are, both the side mirror things are off the covers. But no, this is a 2005 1.6 litre petrol Astra. Now, what's the mileage? Not like the mileage of the last one. Thank God. This one's actually done only 108,000. Um, if we go around here, as you can see, it's a bit rough. Tires are all right. Decent. You've got decent thread on them. Checked them already. Decent. Obviously, this for some reason every single Astra that I, a load of them that I went to see, they've all got this this side mirror cover missing, and I don't know what that's about. I think it's a common problem. Maybe they didn't fit it on properly. Obviously, the inside of the car's decent. As I told you guys in the last video, I love to clean the inside of cars. So the first thing I did when I parked it up was get my Hoover, get everything I needed to do, and go out. So it's looking decent inside. On the top here, you see it's quite worn. Now these I think you can replace, but um, yeah, this came very, very worn. On both sides as well, both sides are like that. This side of the car, I don't know if you can see, is not too bad in terms of paintwork, but you do have the odd scratches. I mean, it is 15 years old. Um, on the driver's side door, you do have this scratch here though. I'm trying to see how I can get that out. But there's one on the passenger side that's absolutely atrocious that I didn't see when I bought the car. And I'll show you guys that in a second. We're going to work our way around. Obviously, normal wear and tear items. Well, this ain't normal, but we've got a crack in the, in the bulb as well. I'm going to try and change that. Come back around. It's decent back here. You've got the odd scratches, obviously, on the number plate. You can't really see that from that angle. Can you see that better? Yeah, there's a little, there's a little crack on there. But no, overall, it's decent. But look. This is the one that I was talking about. Now, when I bought the car, it was dirty, obviously. Did all my checks in terms of leaks and all sorts, tires, um, took it for a little spin, it was fine. I did check the paint, I did check the paintwork, but it wasn't as noticeable as when I got it washed. You can see this line, probably because of the sunlight, it's a bit, you know, but it goes all the way down the car. Now, somebody clearly just keyed this car, I don't know, maybe somebody broke up with their missus or their, or their man and they've literally just <coughs> gone at this car and I didn't notice it until I parked it up literally not even half an hour ago. Now that's going to be a pain to try and sort out. I don't know how, if you guys know any, any paint shops or any like toolkits I can use to try and make it, as, make it as decent as possible, please let me know in the comments down below but that's something that's sort of nigged me out a bit to be honest. <laughs> Literally, as you can see, I'll drag the camera down, it goes all the way down. Literally. But no. That is the car in a nutshell. It's yeah, not so bad. as you can see that 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 paint work on the on the passenger side is really really bad. So if you guys know of any people or any toolkits I can use to try and sort that out, please let me know. Also, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go upstairs and we're going to run through the numbers. First of all, we're going to run through the numbers of what I bought. If you guys can remember, I bought the first Rashida 4, what I sold it for. Also, the car that I wasn't able to film, I'm going to tell you guys what that car was. Um, mileage, everything, details and what I bought and sold it for. That sold in the same day, so I wasn't actually able to do a video on it. And what I, what I obviously bought this car for as well. Um, so yeah, see you in a sec. Sweet. Alright, welcome back guys. Um, you join me back in my apartment now. So... Let's run through some numbers. So, the first Astra I bought, the one with 170,000 miles, what did I buy that and when did I sell that? So I bought that for 350. Of some guy, I think I went through the story as well. So I bought that for 350, two days later, that sold with 170,000 miles for 575. 
So that's a 225 pound proper. I didn't do anything to the car. Literally washed it for, I think for five pounds. I hoovered it myself inside, so I washed it inside myself as well. And sold it for 575. Um, with the right for owner, they love the car. They, they use it basically every day. Still running completely fine. Obviously it's got service history to 126, so I believe it's gonna be, I think that car will go well over 200, 200K easily. Now the next car, the next car, that I forgot to document, not really forgot to, I didn't really have time to, to document was, believe it or not, another Astra. So I bought another Astra, which was a 2005, so 55 Reg, 1.4 petrol SXI. Um, great car, that car had 107,000 miles. Um, I bought that car for 450, um, and I sold it for 650 on the space on the same day. With his rifle owner, they love it. It's literally, Astras are lovely cars for run around. As, I, again, I'm going to ask you guys to let me know what cars you think are the best cars for flipping, best cars, best run around cars, and the cars that are always demanded in the market. I think for me, Astras, Fiestas, those sort of cars focuses, they are always demanded because they're cheap to run, cheap to insure, and their engines, I mean, they, they, if you look after them, they can go for a decent amount of time. Um, now, this car. This car, I think I took a bit of a risk on because there's a lot of things that are actually, that are actually, you know, need, I would say, you know, need fixing before you try and give it to, or sell it on to somebody else. Um, the the, the uh, side mirror covers, obviously I've already ordered those, so they're on their way. Um, the scratch, I'm still looking for toolkits. You guys let me know if you know any toolkits that I'm gonna try and get the scratch out. I'm trying to go into a body shop, I think would be a very expensive, so I wouldn't be wanting to do that. But if I can try and make it as as looking as decent as possible for the next owner, that'd be great. Um, also, I need to fix the locking system on the back passenger door. I didn't actually tell you guys that the back door on the passenger side actually doesn't lock, so I've got to sort that out as well. So there's a decent amount of, of, of Issues, niggling issues with the car, but overall, I still think it'll be decent. Now, how much did I buy that car for? The car you've just seen, I only bought that for 400 pounds. I think it could make 150 to 175 still profit on that car. Now, hopefully, in the next video or whenever it sells, I will let you guys know what it sold for and let's hope, let's hope it's a profit. Um, a couple things that I'm trying to do as well with my personal car that I'm gonna run through in the next couple of videos as well, so you guys stay tuned for that. In the meantime, thanks a lot for your time, guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Um, if you want more content, let me know what content you'd like to see and also what sort of cars you'd like to see on the channel if you have any in mind. Well, without further ado, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Mate, if you ain't getting this one, girl, then this one's for you.